Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Library of Rona. Um, so we're gonna keep it simple this week, I'm as always pretty busy, and uh, the holidays and all that, and there's also some major events that are gonna be happening in Langerser this week, so uh, I'll probably be recording that instead for uh, Thursday. So with that, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and devote this uh, session to just uh, refighting the boss. Because um, I I need I need his book unfortunately because I burned all of them in order to get the um, unstable page of the crying children, and I'm fairly certain his book is required for one of these things. I don't remember which. Um, I think it's probably for Yasad, which if it is, um, that'll get us a step closer to finishing up with Yasad, which will mean we can once we get done with Yasad, we can get done. We can immediately go straight to Hod and get that going. Um, so I went with my earlier setup with uh, Malco's team here, and uh, I'm also very curious to see how this fight will go, because originally when we fought the boss we didn't actually have EGO pages yet, so we'll see how it, uh, see if we do a bit better. Um, we actually did reasonably well, but man, it was a, it was a long fight, and uh, it's going to be a long fight again, unfortunately. So I believe it's here. Okay, so let's do this. Sorry, pressing wrong buttons here. So, alright, let's deal with the crying children again. Alright. So, of course, as usual, um... Sine starts out with less HP because of Eugene's page. Um, hopefully she'll be left alone so she can regenerate health, but if not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's dive right in. Alright, so which one is it? Okay, random library, so we need to deal with this one first. As always, we have no info. So we're just going to work with what we got. We can't intercept anything anyway as well, so we're just going to go with what we got. Hit this thing with everything we got. Do I want to use that already? So what's protection to? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright. <laughs> All zero cost, alright. Oh, that's right, his... I forgot this build's all about single strikes. Okay, um... Clash ones don't matter. Alright. Staggered. Not too bad. Alright, got it staggered. Now we go into murder mode. Okay. So now we have full control over everybody. We just need to make sure we do 69 damage to this thing. Nice. Uh, let's do... You literally can't do anything. Good for you. You're also kind of not in the good spot. Can't do that one yet. 
for all one page. All right. Do I want to discard this much? Not really. I'm a little concerned about if I could do enough damage. So yeah, I think I'll uh, help out where I can here. Yeah, let's just discard it. It's fine. Okay. Ah, that thing is, uh, that thing's rough. Oh. Yeah, the issue was um, we didn't actually make it fatal. That's why it, that's why we're having issues. All right. Well, we keep be wailing on this thing. Okay. Alright, Snake's taking a bit of a beating here. So I'm gonna murder you with this. Well, there's only a 25% chance that I'll murder with this, but if I do murder with this, it would be nice. Oh wait, you're on murder, aren't you? You're both on mur uh you're both on fatal. Sweet. In that case, I'll do this. Only lasts for one round, so we need to if we're gonna do anything, we need to do it now. Uh I'll just let her pass turn. I'll just gang up.
Okay, staggered. Okay. Uh, upon winning clashes, you do better. One hit. Okay, yeah, I think I'll do uh, this. And we'll put it on Kagosa. Cycling cards, deep drag, paralysis would be nice. Okay, here we go again. It's five phases, I think, for this. We're on phase two. God, it feel, feels like it's been forever since I've done this fight. Alright. God, those speeds. Alright, so that's going after my dead die, which sucks. What I can do, though, is intercept that. Try gets current die by one. Okay, okay, and it has counter. So we'll intercept with that at the very least. And then Afterwards, oh my god, they're all counters. Okay, you're accounted for. So I need someone with speed 5 to help with that. In fact, we'll let Kagosa handle that. Why can't I intercept? There we go. Okay, and then with all of that, let's uh, let's go to town. Twenty-five percent, rather. All right, here goes nothing. Not bad. Nice. Almost staggered.
All right, combat page with the highest cost in hand. Uh, hide that for a second. Perfect. So combat page with the highest cost in hand. That'll be Kogoska. Well, she does. She she doesn't have the highest, highest cost, but she's the cost I want to lower. The sooner we do that, the better off we'll be. Alright. Alright, this time the speeds are much lower. As long as we get the stagger, we should be fine. So, let's see if we can get that stagger. U plus U. We will hit you with everything we got. Not high enough on that. Alright, I think that's good enough. Staggered, perfect. Can't counter when you're staggered. Okay. Here we go again. Uh, okay, so this one's the one that's immobilizing. So... We are going to murder this one. The only way we know how. With violence. Alright, looks like I'm about to hit the, the loop here with uh, the deep drags, which is good. Uh, we're going to do this just so we can get some protection. Trying to take advantage of the card draw things here. Alright. Nice. Alright, staggered already. Alright. Already took it out. I think I, I got the, the one in four. I think that's what happened. So I did massive damage there. Uh, Kagosa is down to 42 health. Not the best situation. Cannot check or redirect the targets. Okay. Okay, so it's these two are issue. Okay, and they all have fatal resistance.
Alright, already staggered. Staggered. Dead. Alright. Finds. That's super useful, actually. But this is probably better. Honestly, they're all really good. Vines, though, would give us a lot of control as far as, like, um... Manipulating turns and all that. But I don't really need it. So I think, yeah, I think I'll go Gluttony. And we're going to put it on uh, Kagosa. Ah, yes. Um, so the question is, is what do I use? Fragile. Oh, yeah, Wing Beat. This would help us heal. Hornet's not bad either with the fragile. But I think Wingbeat, because it'll le let me heal up to 3 to 15 health. Not to mention it, it will murder. Okay. So I need to borrow you for a bit. And then deep drag. Okay, so that'll hit first. Well, that's going on. Oh boy, that's gonna murder. Don't mind me. This might be a little overkill. I'm actually gonna let her pass turn. Okay. Uh, looks like I recovered 12 health there. Alright. Also, I think I... I that, was, that was a lot happening. I actually kind of lost track. I think I did like... A, a, I think I did a gajillion damage. Let's just say that. Oh boy. Um, obviously now our queen beats on cooldown. Which would have been useful for the sec next phase. But I also wanted to heal. And I also wanted to get it on cooldown. So I'm just going to let you clean up. Alright, here we go again. Alright, now it's doing the laser beam nonsense. And, uh... I would like to intercept it if I can. So, the main thing here is we want to... stagger this thing as soon as we can. Next scene doesn't matter. 
Actually, yeah, do it. Alright. And then over here we have tailoring. Ink over. health. Almost staggered. Ouch. Okay. Gotcha staggered. That's all that matters. Uh, a deck has nine cards, and I have seven in hand. Okay. Wing beats at half. And you're at... okay. We're just gonna do this. Those can hold on. You'll have to just wait, unfortunately. And we'll have you wait. There we go. <sighs> so this is phase. Let's see, you did one, two, three, four, four. Actually, I think there's six phases. Yeah, there should be one more beam. Or maybe I, or maybe we already did the phase and I just went too fast. All right. Well, uh, you're the one that's locking things down. Yep. Okay. Murderific. Thank you for deep drags. that and then follow up with that. Nothing else. There we go. Staggered. Okay. Dead. All right. Let's do, uh, vines. Uh, increases piercing damage. So we'll put it on you, because I think you are... Yeah, we'll put it on you. Alright, and then we can get... 
green stem. All right, well. I know what I'm going to open with. Okay. And then... Keep at it. Double daring decision. Alright. Quick and easy. Okay, I believe you got the super death beam. The and unfortunately, I think it it, it will go first no matter what. So all we can really do is hope we outspeed it. Oh, just short. All right. So key thing here. Make sure we get our high values out. Sorry, getting a bit messed up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Staggered. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that that ranged. <laughs> no one died, but did get staggered. Which was rough. Sorry, my cat's being annoying. <laughs> Uh, get off desk. Thank you. All right. Go us back to uh, near full health. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we can just do this. I 
actually. We'll just do this. You can freely draw cards, so you can do those for free. You can do all these for free. And there we go. And dead. There we are, last phase. Uh, let's see, Malkoth, Sine. Well, Malkoth is locked down, so there's not anything we can do about that. Thankfully, is not going after anyone important. Multiple daring decisions. Multiple deep drags. Should be more than enough. Already staggered. And there you go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Definitely not easier when you have a, an extra card to play around with. Um, definitely changing my decks around to have a bit more card draw uh, kind of allowed me to not have as many dead rounds. Um, holy cow. All right, uh, we got Twink and the Analyst, which is two resist, stagger resist rather. Um, Inconsolable Grief, two percent chance to boost range die power. Doesn't matter. Same thing there. Same thing there. I think this is just because we got blasted so much. Uh, Deadly Assassin, four percent chance to boost Pierce dice power by plus two, while HP is at twenty-five percent or lower. Okay, and that's it. Cool. And we got a few bucks. All right, and with that, we now have access to uh, the next floor of natural sciences here. Uh, but before we do any of that, ooh, sparkles. Uh, the obtained condition for this was have five or more stats effects applied to the character at once. Counts both buffs and debuffs. Oh, it, so she probably had a, a combination of both the buffs and debuffs. Uh, probably thanks to the haste from the discards, and then of course the um, crack of dawn protection, maybe. And then of course she could have probably got hit by a bunch of debuffs that did like bleed and whatever, because it kind of just didn't really defend that well. Five percent chance uh, to boost spear stagger damage. I'd rather get the stagger resist. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so let's see what's waiting for us. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's take a look at the King of Greed. Whenever I saw it crawling from the other side of the corridor, it was terrifying. Definitely, I remember running for my life. The Gilded Splendor is the same as before. Watch out, it's reckless to step in our way without any preparation. Um. So in Lobotomy Corporation, there were a, a number of abnormalities that seemed to have like association to like some sort of girl, or at least some sort of female character type thing. And in this case, there's this girl inside this thing. Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, as you can see here, it says she'll even wake up as a magical girl and things like that. 
Um, but essentially the way it works is... Um, actually, I think I'm getting mixed up with another character. Yeah, I'm getting mixed up with another abnormality. But the way this one worked was when it was let out, um, it would move slowly across the hallway as a big giant mouth, essentially. And if you were in front of it, uh, you would pretty much die. It would do like 100 to 200 damage and just murder you. So the way you're supposed to fight it is you fight it from range or attack it from behind. Um, in most cases, you rather just fight it from range and uh, slowly take it out before it uh, gets out of the hallway or goes into another hallway. Um, the good news is you do see what portals open when um, when it does move around, and it only moves through hallways. It doesn't move through uh, elevator shafts. But uh, I don't remember the gimmick of what would trigger this thing. I honestly don't remember. Um, she did have a really good uh, EGO, which was like a big giant uh, Millennium Gauntlet, essentially. In any case, let's take a look what this thing does. Uh, does not act if HP reaches zero before the end of the scene. Wakens as magical girl. Otherwise, it wakens as king agreed. So I guess it's a DPS race. It's vulnerable to blunt. It literally doesn't play any cards, so it's a damage race. King agreed. Speed two. Um, King Agreed uses a different set of combat pages on a successful hit. Deal bonus uh, damage equal to stacks of bleed on the target. Road of the King, uh, every three scenes creates brilliant bliss and becomes untargetable but does not act. The following scene uses two special combat pages against a single target. If a librarian fails to negate any one of the special combat pages attacks, deal 15 damage to all librarians and, librarians and recover 25 health. And Moments Bliss, if a librarian successfully negates all of the attacks on the special combat page, the abnormality becomes staggered next scene. So we've got Hunger here, which just does some counter and bleed. Destroy all target's dice on Clash win. Otherwise it does, on hit, it will do Fragile. Heal, it will heal itself on hits. And then uh, buff itself up, essentially. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, obviously I'm not going to be able to do anything here because I'm right now in base gear. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I am the Depressed Dior. This was Library of Runa. I'll see you guys later.